Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is something that I am so passionate about and something that I've kind of wanted to address and talk about for quite a long time. More specifically though with the whole new year and new year, new you and all of this talk of diets and getting healthy, getting fit for the new year. And while there's nothing wrong with wanting to be more healthy, wanting to be more fit, all of that kind of thing. I do think that as somebody who has struggled in the past with an eating disorder and somebody who is very aware of the problems that this kind of talk can bring up and can cause, I wanted to put a video out there to encourage you guys and to maybe dissuade you guys from starting a diet in 2019. This is information that I wish I would have known at a younger age, so I'm putting it out there for all of my younger viewers more specifically, but also if you're struggling, no matter what age you are, I feel like a lot of people struggle with this kind of stuff no matter what age, but I also think that if I had heard this information when I was a teenager, it could have stopped something from snowballing into a much bigger problem. I'm gonna give you my five reasons why you should not start a diet in 2019. And full disclaimer, before anyone says anything about me promoting obesity or promoting unhealthy eating or anything like that, that is not the point of this video at all. I am all for people getting healthy and fit. Like I said, I'm all for people People wanting to better themselves but I do think that there's a right way and a wrong way to do it and I think dieting is the wrong way my first reason why you shouldn't start a diet in 2019 is because diets don't work long term dieting is pretty much a short-term fix or a short-term way of getting to your destination and while it may seem great and a lot of diets are dressed up in a fancy way they put a name on it or they put a cool buzzword to it and it just seems like that's what everyone's doing and that's like the cool trendy thing to do they're all the same they're all short-term fixes and they don't actually work long term so any kind of calorie deprivation is not good for you long term because it's not sustainable your body needs food to survive it doesn't matter what diet you look at they're all the same they may have different names they may have different cut out different food groups they may be different in all of their different ways they all work short term of course if you stick to them in any case where you deprive yourself of some kind of food of course you will lose weight but what's gonna happen number one mentally and Number two, physically in the long term. Undoubtedly, there's gonna come a time where you're off the diet, you're gonna break your diet, you can't keep up with it long term because in most cases it's too extreme or it's too low calorie and nobody can physically go on for too long of a time with less food and fewer calories that they need. So ultimately there is gonna be an end to the diet. And when that happens, what's gonna happen? You're gonna gain all of the weight back because you're gonna be off your diet, you're gonna be eating all the foods that you weren't allowed to eat on the diet. And aside from anything physical, it messes you up mentally because once you tell yourself that you can't have something, or if you're anything like me, this is how I operate. Any given day, if I tell myself in my head, right, you cannot eat a donut today what's gonna happen? <laughs> the only thing I'm ever gonna think about for the rest of that day is a donut. I'm gonna obsess over it, obsess over it, obsess over it, think about it 24-7, and by the time like 4 or 5 p.m. rolls around, I'm gonna eat like a whole crate of donuts <laughs> because I'm so obsessed, which in turn is going to completely backfire on your goals and mess up what you set out to do in the first place. So that is a very basic example of why diets do not work. They're a short-term solution to something that should be a long-term one. Number two is that if you want to get healthy, you should think of it as a healthy lifestyle. And I know that sounds so cliche. Everyone has talked about lifestyle. It's a lifestyle, not a diet, but it's so true. A healthy lifestyle versus a short-term fix is way more achievable. Yes, it's going to take longer. Yes, it's going to be slower but it actually works and it's actually sustainable and you can maintain whatever weight loss or whatever your goals are in the long term. 
wouldn't you rather have that than be yo-yoing up and down and like maybe lose weight for two weeks before a holiday and then pile it all back on again? Would you not rather just be at your optimal fitness and health level year round rather than going back and forth between where you want to be and where you're unhappy with being? It's just not nice. It's not a nice way of living. And it's something that actually messes up your metabolism and can slow it down and prevent you from losing weight. I'll give you guys an example. I have lost a significant amount of weight after pregnancies. I've been pregnant four times if you followed along with my videos and I have lost in my last pregnancy was probably my biggest I want to say and after my last pregnancy I lost 15 kilos. I'm now back to where I was pre-pregnancy. I'm back to where I wanted to be and um, where I was at the peak of like my fitness and um, healthy lifestyle when I started working out properly. I did not do that through any starvation. I didn't cut out any food groups. I didn't go on any diets. I mean, I am breastfeeding, so that obviously helped, but I literally just ate everything in moderation. I made a promise and a commitment to myself, and I did this last time as well with my third baby, after my third baby, where I made a commitment to myself that I would not go on any kind of diets. I would just take it slow. I would eat normally and eat a little bit of everything that I fancied, just not go overboard in any category. And that is honestly what works for me. And adding exercise to that kind of mentality meant that I lost all of the baby weight and more in a healthy, slow and steady fashion. And I'm able to keep it off. I'm able to maintain it. The beauty of doing it like this as well, where you don't cut out food groups or you don't cut out certain things that you really, really love is that you can still eat in a way that you enjoy and that you like the foods that you're eating. So you're never ever depriving yourself, but you can actually keep it off. Number three, comparison is the thief of joy. And this is so true, especially with social media and things like that out there where we constantly compare ourselves. The thing is, even before social media, this is something that used to happen like with celebrities and magazines and on TV. And I'm telling you guys that if you find yourself doing that, you need to get yourself some new role models. I'm sorry, but no two people are the same. There's loads of different body shapes out there. If you are looking at somebody that is so unattainable body wise and you know that you would have to absolutely starve yourself or live a miserable life to get yourself to look that way, don't follow that person or don't have that person as your role model. I believe that being healthy and fit and happy and living a healthy lifestyle is all about balance. It has to be. You have to be happy to be healthy. Does that make sense? Like your mental health has to be in alignment with your physical health. Otherwise, it's not. you're not doing yourself any favors and it's not worth it. Um, you could be physically looking ripped, looking amazing, but mentally you could be completely screwed and then it's not worth it. You need to align the two together and you need to really, really look at what you're doing and figure out if it's healthy for you, not for anybody else. I don't care about anyone else out there. It's all about you when it comes to your health and your fitness and your well being. You need to be doing things that are sustainable for you, that make you feel good, that make you feel happy. For example, I could never go on a low carb diet. Anytime I went on a low carb diet as a teenager, or even in my early 20s, I would end up binging on carbs because carbs are my favorite thing to eat. I love carbs. I'm like the self-proclaimed carb queen, like I'm obsessed. So for me, cutting them out would make me obsess over them, would make me wanna binge on them later, and it would just have the complete opposite effects of what I wanted. Like I would never ever lose weight on a low carb diet because it would ultimately just get me to binge after. So for me, I know that I could probably go on a much cleaner diet, I could probably cut out a lot of the things that I love. I could probably be a lot more super ripped, but would I be happy? No, <laughs> absolutely not. And there's really no point for me to aspire to be like that because that's not right for me. So do what's right for your body. And if you feel like you're going too far in either direction, just reel it in, try and recognize that about yourself. Try and do what's best for you, not for anybody else around you. It doesn't matter what anybody else is doing, just because a certain lifestyle or a certain diet works for somebody else doesn't mean that it's gonna work for you. That brings me to my final point, which is that 
mental health is just as important as physical health. So if you want to get healthy in 2019, that's fine. I have nothing against that. That is absolutely fine. Good for you. I'm happy for you. But just be aware that your mental health is just as important. So like I was saying before, if you feel yourself slipping in any way or you feel yourself kind of spiraling into, you know, a diet or a lifestyle that is just very restrictive and you don't feel like it is serving you mentally, just reel it in and be aware of that and recognize that that may not be a good fit for you. So I'm just gonna take donuts as an example because I clearly love donuts. For me personally, I don't drink alcohol. I've never really liked it. I, I don't really like the taste. It's just not really for me. I don't smoke, I don't do drugs. Probably the worst and the unhealthiest thing that I do is I need to eat something sugary, sweet, or something bad for you every single day otherwise i go crazy i just go loco <laughs> like i don't know what it is about me but i just need to have something to look forward to and something that keeps me sane and with four kids and a busy lifestyle sometimes even just home life can be really really stressful and if i have something that i know is yummy and I'm gonna enjoy and I have it with my coffee and it's something that I look forward to all day, that keeps me mentally sane and it really just nourishes my mind as well as, okay, it doesn't probably nourish my body, but you know what I mean? It nourishes my mental state and I think there's something to be said for that. I definitely think that you can have the cleanest, most healthiest diet ever um, and still not be happy and surely your happiness and your mental well-being is just as important as your physical one of course not everybody is going to be like me not everyone is going to hold donuts in such a high power or a high regard as i do i feel like everything in moderation is fine it's when you do too much of an extreme either one way where it becomes unhealthy and i'm just telling you guys that if you are struggling and you want to lose weight this year or you really want to get healthy this year you can do it without deprivation that is the huge message behind this video that i just want to get out there is that it is possible you just have to find that balance and when you find what works for you stick with it don't be swayed in different directions just because something's trendy or it's a cool buzzword or it's the cool new diet of 2019 nothing is going to work for everyone anyway and everybody is different everyone is an individual everyone looks different everyone has a different optimal weight don't compare yourself don't start a diet just be happy i just i my wish for you guys is that you find inner peace and happiness with this whole body image because honestly when you find that it is the best thing in the world i feel like i wasted so many years being unhappy with myself and unhappy with my body image and now that i've found like this inner peace about it i just feel so 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 much better and i feel like an idiot for wasting my time all of those years so that's my wish for all of you for 2019 please don't start any crazy diets watch this video instead um, i hope this video helped and um, let me know your thoughts in the comments below because i would love to hear your thoughts on this kind of topic it's obviously something that really interests me and something that i'm really passionate about so thank you so much for watching this video outfit details as always will be on the blog link will be in the description box please give the video a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe for more i upload mondays wednesdays and fridays and i will talk to you guys in my next one